Previously, we finished our kids' rooms and got them moved in, but there's no time to slow down. So this is a big deal. Before we move on to the next big project, we have a door to install and things don't go exactly as planned. But actually, everything was going wrong. Still, we're keeping our spirits high and making progress step by step. Ooh. Ooh fancy. <laughs> Follow along as we finally start our deck extension. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. Our first footer for our deck extension. And then I guess we'll do number two. Sarah and I are out here this morning and we almost have the front of our house all cleared of our material. We just have this one last pile of shiplap that we need to move to the side of the house because this is where our deck extension is gonna be. So we're gonna get this all cleared out, move to the side of the house, and then we can start doing our layout for our deck extension and start pouring from pouring and digging some footers. So huh, it, we haven't seen the front of our house be clear in three years now. So Since it was a house. So this is a big deal. Right earlier this morning, you guys watched us clear off the last pile of lumber that we needed to get out of the way so we can start this deck build. And now we have string lines pulled that can tell us where the posts are gonna go on both sides of our deck. And now Ryan's actually pulled another string line from corner to corner, and it's actually gonna tell us where our center post is gonna go that comes off of the prow of our house because the deck will actually match that same shape of the house still. So we're hoping we can actually figure out where that post will go, and then it might be time to move on to a little bit of moving, packing, and getting ready for our trailer to get off of this land. Okay, where you marked, did you think that was the center? No, I don't think so, because it looks like we're just right at the edge. Yeah, so the line is right at the edge. Yeah, so I think just right, if you put it right on the, on the line. Yes. This is a little bit, this is a little bit off. We're, we're at like 11.8. We're... And we're shooting for 11.3. I wonder if that's gonna stay on. Whoa, it looks like it's correct. It almost seems like maybe it could have came out a little bit further. We're at 17, like, three. Okay, and what were you shooting for? 17, two and three quarters. Oh, okay. I don't know, Ryan. I feel like it's like we kind of know what we're doing. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, I think let's put this center line in place and then I think we'll be able to mark all four of those. Yeah. And then we can definitely mark this one. Mm -hmm. And then I bet, I guess then we just draw a line between this one and this one. And I don't know, figure out what the halfway point is. Okay, let's do it. To the line. We need 21 feet and a quarter inch. That is our very center post. The engineer said that we had to have our footers be 24 by 24, so we made up this little handy template so we can make sure, actually Sarah made up the template, it looks beautiful. So that way we can have our footers be exactly the same. So I have center here and we'll 
spray paint them so we All know where right. to dig. Let's... I think we're on to digging tomorrow. Oh, thank God. How far down do we have to dig? 12 inches. Hmm. Not. Oh, that looks good. I don't know. All right, on to the next one. Yesterday we ended up being able to mark where all of our footers are going to go for our deck and today we're actually going to be inside working on the door to our son's room, getting that all installed. We'll see if it goes smoothly and if it does then we might do the bathroom door as well because the last time we did a door it did not go smoothly and you guys just saw this really long time lapse of it but actually everything was going wrong. So wish us luck that this goes a little bit better today. Okay starting with a level floor. Yeah. So that's better than how, what happened over here. Bum, bum. <laughs> so it should mean that we don't have to cut both sides at a different level. Yeah. So we should be able to just take a single, single measurement. Okay. Cut it off at the end and, and come install it. So it's like 80 and a quarter. So maybe we just want to cut it at 80. Yeah. Sh shim a quarter inch. You need a level that is long enough. Long enough. Shim number one. It looks level. Oh, you're plumbing up the side? I'm trying. Okay. All right, we're working on getting this door installed. And I learned a little trick from one of my fellow YouTubers to actually put in and plumb all of your shims on your hinge side before you bring in the frame. So we did that last time, but we forgot to plumb the actual casing of the door and it was off ever so slightly. So it made things a little bit difficult when we were getting it installed. So this time we're gonna make sure that we're leveling and plumbing in all the directions and hopefully things go a lot smoother. Will you put one in and then check? Sure. Cause are we flush? Yeah, we're flush. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a reenactment. Oh, more than a reenactment. Let's do building. I mean, it's pretty close. Uh huh. Oh no. Did that. Oh, shoot. Does that lock this in? Door installation, not going well. It's kind of how they go. Um, we, we got it all plumb, and then there's this jam that you can move so it's nice and flush, and we nailed that into place. So now we have ripped that apart, and we're gonna re plumb and give it a second try. So we'll in here today. That looks pretty good. It... I didn't know if you were just nailing all along the hinge side and then we were gonna kind of adjust the adjustable side. then this side I think we 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 level up after we get the the door in right that side that you're got the level on right now yeah because then that that's how we make set the reveal to be constant I think mm, on the side I think you're right but yeah because otherwise we don't know 
how far to shim this out. Mm -hmm. Maybe now this will help us remember, but we're only going to do one door a month after this. Seventy-nine. You get to see a teen in this natural habitat. <laughs> I think we gotta flip it back towards you. Uh-huh. And then kind of waddle it over, as I like to say. Oh, oh. Okay, we gotta tilt it a little to get it through there. Uh, what the heck? It's like 79 and 3 eighths is right to the top. Okay. We cut the door the wrong size. Now let's sit down here and tip up. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. I think I think the door is done. Should we get a handle in? Yep. And maybe. Oh yeah, we gotta top. do that. Mm. Mm. We have another working door. Ooh. With a fancy. <laughs> so it's kind of an exciting day because the other day we got a call from the county and they told us that our extension permit for our deck has been approved. So we went down there and we picked up those plans and now comes the exciting part and hard part of actually building it. So as you can see behind me, this is the end of where our deck was going to be and we're going to bring it out another eight feet to this corner where Sarah's digging. So we're going to pour seven new footers and extend the whole deck out eight feet. So today our plan is to try to get all those fitter, footers dug and fingers crossed if we can get all those dug, we have a cement mixer on the way and we'll be able to actually pour those footers tomorrow. So we're going to see how far we can get and we'll take you along for the ride. rocks. We just took a quick little snack and we have three out of the seven holes mostly dug and four left to go. Luckily I have a buddy of mine, Jess is coming, he's gonna lend us a hand in getting some of these last four holes dug. So hopefully we can get these knocked out in the next hour or two and we can start putting the forms in place so we're ready to pour some concrete tomorrow. So, can you take that level and go from that corner to this corner and we'll see how far that line can go? Yep. 
up just there. Okay, cool. There. Yeah, there. Pretty close. We got these two to screw in, right? So, dang, that's pretty close. Yeah. All right, hell yeah. I'm like... Okay, you want to turn it on? Yeah. Think you have a future in concrete work? No. Good number. Okay, Owen, you're gonna have the hoe now. And then I'll put the thing under. I think we're in a little bit better position right now. Yeah, I think so too. Ready? It'll start coming down that little chute. How much it helps. I don't, I don't know why that why does it move like that. Okay. Welcome to the build site. All right, go for it. <laughs> We have had a super busy day. <laughs> what you guys didn't see is that Ryan and I woke up super early this morning so we could go to Home Depot and pick up our order, which was our cement mixer that we've been busy using all day long today while we've been pouring these forms. So we went to Home Depot, we got that cement mixer, we got it home, I put that together. While Ryan started cutting the rebar pieces, our son Owen was busy putting together the squares that go into each footer. And then our friend Jess came and was able to help us for a little while on pouring these footers and he worked super hard at moving all the bags of concrete to each footer which helps us so much because just that act of moving the bags takes so much energy so we're super thankful for all the help we've had on this project and we have done three footers so far today and now it is time to do the last one for today then we will only have three more Unfortunately, we have a huge heat wave coming our way, so we'll probably be out here working in the mornings getting these done and keep making progress at this deck a little bit at a time. Okay. Yeah, and then after we do this one, do the same thing. Good. Mommy, get so over here. here. Okay. Move your hand. Like, go over there. Imagine it's not the right consistency. Put it there. And then you do it there. And then I'll do it here. 
No, oh, I one. should be after because I have big hands. No one cares. Ready? Like that? Okay. Okay, one, two, three. Keep them down. Because I think maybe dad's going to have to come like. I don't know if we want to kind of like wiggle it a little bit. Yeah. I... Push your fingers in a little. And kind of wiggle them like this. <laughs> okay. Might be going down a little you far. Think? I don't know. Okay. Everybody happy? No. Yeah. And are we just going to put our initial by each one? Sure. And then I'll put 2024 20, in the sure. corner. 